If you're a fan of classic Hollywood starlets, then you might know the name Virginia Mayo. She was an actress and dancer who came about in the golden age of Hollywood and had a career spanning five decades. She's considered one of the most iconic actresses of all time and remains an inspiration for aspiring actresses to this day. Join Facts First to see how the rare photos of Virginia Mayo reveal her secret. Virginia Mayo was born as Virginia Clara Jones on November 30, 1920 in St. Louis. Her family had deep roots in the city and had been there for generations. Yet Virginia was itching to leave and make it to the bright lights of Hollywood instead. She showed an early interest in performing and took dance lessons at a local studio. Her parents were supportive of her passion for the arts and allowed her to pursue her dreams. Her aunt owned an acting school and from the age of six, she took acting and dancing classes. After graduating from high school, Mayo enrolled in a business school in St. Louis, but she soon realized her true calling was in the entertainment industry. She left school and moved to New York to pursue a career in showbiz. Mayo's childhood and early life helped shape her into the talented and resilient performer she became. Her parents' support, her Catholic education, and her early experiences in her parents' grocery store all contributed to her success in the entertainment industry. Her dedication to her craft and willingness to take risks led to a long and successful career. In New York City, Virginia began in several Broadway productions. She worked as a chorus girl in productions like Banjo Eyes and Star and Garter. She caught the attention of Hollywood talent scouts and was offered a screen test by Samuel Goldwyn, one of the most powerful producers in the film industry. Virginia Mayo's screen test impressed him and he signed her to a contract to make several films with MGM. While her first film role was an uncredited part in Follies Girl, her first major role was in the 1943 movie Jack London, in which she played the leading lady opposite Michael O'Shea, and it was only her second film. Her talent and beauty quickly made her a rising star. She appeared in a string of successful films in the 40s, including Up in Arms, The Princess and the Pirate, and The Best Years of Our Lives. She often played the role of the glamorous leading lady or the seductive femme fatale. Her career reached its peak in the 1950s when she became a popular pinup girl and was frequently featured in magazines like Esquire and Life. Her career While she had a bit of work on stage and even work in short films and on a radio show, Lux Radio Theater, she's primarily remembered as a film actress. Her role in Jack London was enough to launch her career. It also introduced her to her husband, Michael O'Shea, with whom she acted opposite. Her career was on an upward trajectory, and she had a few flops that didn't do anything to undermine the string of hits. Her talent and versatility as an actress allowed her to play a wide range of roles. She was equally skilled at portraying the glamorous and innocent leading lady or the sultry and vicious femme fatale. Some of her most famous roles include a feisty bar singer in White Heat, the loyal wife in Best Years of Our Lives, and the seductive dancer in The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. She was also known for her work in westerns. She appeared in now classic western films including Colorado Territory, The Proud Ones, and The Silver Whip. She often played the strong-willed frontier woman, standing up to tough gunslingers and fighting for justice in the Wild West. Despite her success as a leading lady, Mayo was never content to rest on her laurels. She continued to take on challenging roles, including the mentally unstable wife in The Outriders and the tough-as-nails businesswoman in The Iron Mistress. As she aged, her career began to decline, and she was offered fewer leading roles. But this didn't really kill her career, and her reputation helped her work for five decades, with her final credit in the 1997 film The Man Next Door. That's a career of 54 years. She was also such a celebrity and respected starlet that her penultimate credit was appearing as herself in an episode of the TV series The Naked Truth. Throughout her career, Mayo was known for her professionalism and dedication to her craft. She worked tirelessly to perfect her performances and was highly respected by her peers in the industry. She was nominated for a Golden Globe Award for her performance in The Proud Ones and received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1960. Virginia Mayo's film career was marked by her beauty, talent, and versatility. She left a lasting impression on the industry, and her contributions continue to be celebrated. Virginia's Life 
Virginia Mayo's personal life as an adult was joyful, and she didn't have many of the scandals that other starlets had. She was married to Michael O'Shea for 26 years. They had one child together, a daughter named Mary Catherine, born in 1953. Virginia was a devoted mother and often took time off from her career to spend time with her family. She had a reputation as a great actress and dedicated wife and mother. You could say that Virginia and Michael were one of the early examples of a Hollywood power couple. They were known for their strong and loving relationship. They were often seen together at industry events and were known for their playful banter and affectionate displays. Sadly, Michael passed away in 1973 at age 66. Mayo was devastated and took some time off from her career to grieve. She later said O'Shea had been her support system and that she had difficulty moving on. Nevertheless, she remained active in the industry and continued to work in films and TV. Virginia was also an avid philanthropist and was involved in a number of charitable organizations throughout her life. She was particularly passionate about animal rights and worked with the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals to raise awareness about animal welfare issues. In her later years, she sadly began to suffer from Alzheimer's disease and eventually moved into an assisted living facility. She passed away on January 17, 2005, at age 84. Despite these challenges, she remained a beloved figure in the industry and left a lasting legacy as an actress and humanitarian. Virginia's Legacy her legacy as an actress and cultural icon has endured long after her passing. Her contributions to cinema, her work ethic, and her commitment to philanthropy have cemented her place in Hollywood history. She was one of the early stars who was also respected for her range as an actress. How many actresses even today can play range from the sultry femme fatale to the strong-willed frontier woman? She inspired a generation of women in Hollywood and helped pave the way for future leading ladies. Her performances were marked by her natural beauty, charm, and wit, and she had a powerful screen presence that captivated audiences. In recent years, there's been renewed interest in Mayo's life and career, with retrospectives and tributes being held in her honor. Her films continue to be enjoyed by audiences around the world, and her influence on the industry can still be felt today. She's remembered as a beloved figure in Hollywood history, whose contributions continue to inspire and influence future generations. If you haven't seen any of Virginia Mayo's films, now's the time to get started. Binge watching will introduce you to the life and career of one of Hollywood's most respected actresses who not only excelled in her career, but also had a stable family life and gave to those who needed it most. Truly an inspiration. You've seen how these rare photos of Virginia Mayo reveal her secret, and that was she lived a great and fulfilling life, one we can all hope for. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of Virginia Mayo? Let us know in the comments section below.